What if your mind could be so strong that nothing could break it? Not fire, not steel, not even slander. Let's find out how. Imagine a mind that can weather any storm. Think about facing challenges with calmness. Picture yourself overcoming obstacles with a steady resolve. This is the power of an unbreakable mind. We all face difficulties in life. These challenges can test our spirit. But what if we could face them with strength and resilience? This is where the wisdom of the ancient Stoics comes in. The Stoics were philosophers who lived centuries ago. They believed in developing inner strength to face life's ups and downs. One of the most famous Stoics was Marcus Aurelius. He was a Roman emperor. Marcus Aurelius wrote a book called Meditations. This book is a collection of his personal reflections. It's full of timeless wisdom on how to live a better life. His teachings are just as relevant today as they were centuries ago. They offer a powerful framework for building an unbreakable mind. Marcus Aurelius was a powerful man. He was the emperor of Rome. But he was also a philosopher. He believed in living a virtuous life. He followed the principles of Stoicism. Stoicism is a philosophy that emphasizes inner strength. It teaches us to focus on what we can control. We should accept what we cannot control. Marcus Aurelius used these principles to guide his life. He faced many challenges as emperor. There were wars, plagues and political turmoil. But he faced these challenges with calmness and courage. He used Stoic philosophy to navigate difficult situations. His writings in offer a glimpse into his mind. We can learn from his experiences. We can apply his wisdom to our own lives. Marcus Aurelius shows us that an unbreakable mind is possible for anyone. Marcus Aurelius had a powerful insight. He realized that our thoughts shape our reality. He wrote, our life is what our thoughts make it. This is a profound statement. It highlights the importance of our minds. If we have negative thoughts, we will experience negative emotions. If we focus on the bad, we will feel bad. But the opposite is also true. If we cultivate positive thoughts, we will experience more positivity in our lives. This doesn't mean we should ignore problems. It means we should approach them with a clear and rational mind. We can choose how we react to situations. We can choose to focus on solutions rather than dwelling on problems. This is the power of our minds. We can control our thoughts. By controlling our thoughts, we can shape our reality. This is the first step towards building an unbreakable mind. Marcus Aurelius believed in controlling our thoughts. He knew our thoughts have power. He said, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. We often blame external circumstances for our unhappiness. We blame our jobs, our relationships or the world around us. But Marcus Aurelius reminds us that true power lies within. We can choose how we interpret events. We can choose our reactions. This is the essence of Stoic philosophy. Focus on what you can control. Let go of what you cannot. This takes practice. It's not easy to control our thoughts. Our minds are full of distractions. But with practice, we can train our minds to be calmer and more focused. Section 5. Don't sweat the small stuff. Life is full of little annoyances. We encounter traffic jams, long lines and rude people. These small things can ruin our day if we let them. Marcus Aurelius reminds us not to sweat the small stuff. He wrote, when you wake up in the morning, tell yourself, the people I deal with today will be meddling, ungrateful, arrogant, dishonest, jealous and surly. He's not saying we should expect the worst from people. He's saying we should be prepared for it. We should accept that not everyone will act the way we want them to. This acceptance can free us from frustration. 
it allows us to navigate daily annoyances with more grace and patience. Remember, we can't control other people. We can only control our own reactions. Section 6. Facing our fears. We all have fears. Some fears are rational, like the fear of danger. Other fears are irrational, like the fear of public speaking. These fears can hold us back in life. Marcus Aurelius believed in confronting our fears. He said, the object of life is not to be on the side of the majority, but to escape finding oneself in the ranks of the insane. He's reminding us to think for ourselves. Don't let fear dictate your actions. Challenge your fears. Question them. Often our fears are based on irrational thoughts. When we face our fears, we grow stronger. We expand our comfort zones. We become more resilient. This doesn't mean we should be reckless. It means we should be willing to step outside our comfort zones and embrace challenges. Section 7. The Importance of Virtue Marcus Aurelius believed in living a virtuous life. He saw virtue as the ultimate good. He wrote, Waste no more time arguing about what a good man should be, be one. Virtue for Stoics meant living in accordance with nature. It meant being honest, just, courageous and wise. These virtues were seen as the path to a fulfilling life. In today's world, virtue might seem like an old-fashioned concept, but it's just as relevant as ever. When we live with integrity, we build trust with others. We create a positive reputation. We feel good about ourselves. Living virtuously is not about being perfect. It's about striving to be our best selves. It's about making choices that align with our values. We often dwell on the past and worry about the future. This takes us away from the present moment. Marcus Aurelius emphasized the importance of living in the now. He wrote, do not indulge in dreams of having what you do not, but reckon up the chief of the blessings you do possess, and then thankfully remember how you would crave for them if they were not yours. He's reminding us to appreciate what we have, Focus on the present moment. The past is gone. The future is uncertain. The only thing we have control over is this moment. When we focus on the present, we reduce anxiety. We find more joy in everyday experiences. We become more mindful of our thoughts and actions. This presence of mind is essential for building an unbreakable mind. We encounter difficult people throughout our lives. These people can test our patience. They can make us angry or frustrated. Marcus Aurelius offered advice on how to deal with them. He wrote, the best revenge is to be unlike him who performed the injury. He's saying, we shouldn't stoop to their level. Don't let their negativity affect you. Respond with kindness and understanding. This doesn't mean we should tolerate bad behavior. It means we should rise above it. We should maintain our own inner peace. Remember, we can't control other people. We can only control our own reactions. Life doesn't always go our way. We face setbacks, disappointments and losses. These experiences can be difficult to accept. Marcus Aurelius believed in the power of acceptance. He wrote, Accept the things to which fate binds you, and love the people with whom fate brings you together, but do so with all your heart. He's reminding us that we can't control everything that happens to us. We can, however, control our attitude towards it. We can choose to accept what is and move forward. This acceptance doesn't mean giving up, it means letting go of the need to control everything. Life can be chaotic. We are bombarded with information, demands and distractions. It's easy to feel overwhelmed. Marcus Aurelius lived in a time of great turmoil, yet he found calmness amidst the chaos. He wrote, Nowhere can man find a quieter or more untroubled retreat than in his own soul. 
He's reminding us that true peace comes from within. We can find a sense of stillness no matter what is happening around us. This inner peace is essential for building an unbreakable mind. When we're grounded in our own centre, we are less likely to be swayed by external events. We can face challenges with greater clarity and composure. Building an unbreakable mind is a lifelong journey. It's not something that happens overnight. It requires practice, patience and self-awareness. The wisdom of Marcus Aurelius offers a roadmap for this journey. By applying his teachings to our lives, we can develop greater resilience, inner peace and clarity of thought. Remember to focus on what you can control, accept what you cannot and always strive to live a virtuous life. The power to build an unbreakable mind lies within each of us. You now have the tools to start building an unbreakable mind. Practice mindfulness, embrace challenges and stay resilient. Subscribe to our channel for more life-changing wisdom. Share this video with friends and let's empower each other to live with strength and purpose.